Major developments to share with you today about Ebola in America. A new case in Dallas. The latest victim, a healthcare worker who had direct contact with the first man to get Ebola in the U.S. If confirmed, it will be the first time Ebola has been transmitted from person to person here in this country. Another Ebola case at this Dallas hospital. A healthcare worker who treated the patient who died from the virus last week now infected. She identified symptoms immediately on their onset. She was isolated promptly. Officials from Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital saying that worker followed CDC guidelines, including wearing full protective gear while caring for Thomas Eric Duncan. But the CDC's director says the infection shows there was a breach in protocol. They're now urgently trying to find out how this happened. We're very concerned. Officials saying there is no risk to the community, but sending out a reverse 911 call to alert the healthcare worker's neighbors. They've also isolated one of the worker's close contacts. A healthcare worker who lives in your area has tested positive for the Ebola virus. While hazmat crews rush to decontaminate her car, home, and apartment complex. I was so freaked out. As President Obama was briefed on this first transmission of Ebola ever in the U.S., the CDC says they're investigating and offering more training to the staff at this hospital, adding they are prepared for the possibility of more cases here. Unfortunately, it is possible in the coming days that we will see additional cases of Ebola. This is because the health care workers who cared for this individual may have had a breach of the same nature 